banging and banging on the ones and twos. Y'all know multiple sclerosis cannot stop your agent of gratitude. I'm back in this thing, y'all. I'm back in this thing. It's a Monday, the last Monday of February. I got a few things to chat with y'all about, so I'm not even going to try to front, lie, pretend, anything like this is not about to be an honest truth saying. I got a few things shaking coming different to the Agency of Gratitude. There are some things coming different to the podcast. There are some things coming different to the blog. A lot. Salute to you for joining me on a Monday afternoon. What is good with you? Hope you got everything. You called me early. I haven't even started talking about the doggone gratitude journal yet. I'm just announcing there's going to be several changes coming. Changes coming to the Facebook group that y'all are in right now. Changes coming to the podcast that some people listen to, which is a recording and all types of stuff cut from these talks that we do. Changes have already been happening on the GLOW, the blog, allthingsonelove.com. There's all types of stuff coming. And it's all because this gratitude journal is becoming the full-time business. It's all because keeping my mindset right has become a real thing. Now, let me tell you a few reasons why all these changes are even coming. Your boy's been out the game for about four or five days. I don't know what I had. Told you all about the congestion, the fever, all type of shit like that. I took the at-home COVID test. It was part of the gratitudes. I don't know, a couple of days ago. So I never had COVID. I don't think I had COVID. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling better and better. This is like the, my second, third day feeling a whole lot better. Shouldn't be banging on my leg like that. Either way, some of the things that are happening that have been different. That Number one, I have discovered that all this contraction in my legs, all that stuff coming in with my leg, if you want to join me, please let me know. Cause, and I'll find a way to get you in this thing. Maybe if I press this button, if you don't want to join, I get it. I'm just making sure you at least have the option. Boom. Okay, do it like that. There. All right, cool. So, number one, in order to help with that contraction, because I'm struggling with the walking, everything, which is affecting how much I can make videos, we got a small pillow. And to keep my contraction has gotten so bad with the legs that I can't keep my legs apart. Like, automatically, my legs are closing up all the time. So, when I can't mentally or physically keep them apart, we help out by keeping a pillow situated right there. And that's not only a mental reminder to keep my legs apart, to help out with the walking, to help out with the movement. Because it's gotten so, it's not even, I haven't been able to walk for a while. But like I'm telling y'all, man, the, the spasms are so bad. I sleep there. This is the bathroom. I have to walk. I have to crawl this, these three feet. And I can't crawl the three feet all the way. It still takes me anywhere from five, five plus minutes to crawl this three or four feet. It's taking me five plus minutes because I can't keep myself, even in the crawling position, I can't keep myself aligned to do that. Can't move the legs enough to do that. The arm is going in and out. The headaches, all that type of shit. So either way, a big help for all of this has been keeping that pillow between here. So this is day number two doing this. And that's been helping out a whole lot. Shot and no, that's not part of the gratitude. That's not part of the gratitude. Shout out to my mama who sent in stuff like this, which I can put on the shower. Look, y'all don't understand, man, how bad, how hard it is to do a video. I'm gonna be honest with you. Whenever you know you musty, I know I'm musty, but I'm so bad physically, I can't even take a shower. Like, I can't get my body to the shower. I gave up on the, the I haven't taken a bath in, the, in a couple of years because I can't get the legs over the tub. For a while, the wife used to help me out, but never mind that. Y'all get what I'm saying. I haven't, it fucks up your head. Whenever you're going through hard times and you're doing your best to shake things off, and I tell you all about the gratitude journal, I'm trying to stay grateful, keeping that above everything, keeping my mindset right, perspective, all that good stuff, thinking about good things, trying to keep a smile going. And it'll, it, it bothers me. And I got to get used to it. And I'm going to fight it. But it bothers me when you're going through all of that. 
and you can't even wash yourself up. Like, I know I'm going through the depression. I know it's hitting me hard. I know I'm struggling with it. And I can smell myself, man. And I, and I, don't, I don't have, I can't go wash up. I said, well, shoot, just grab a towel and do, and do that. Yeah, I do, man. And I'm still busty. That's what, that's what gets you is that you're doing your best to wash up and shit. I don't know what it gets you. Shout out to my mama for, so we got the pillow. We got things, these things for the shower. I am showered up now. And then this right here just came in from my mother dear. And if y'all can't tell what this is, baby, this is a toilet stand-up thing. Cause that's another big thing. It's um it completely racks my head, my brain, whenever I get so bad like that, and I can't pull my pants up. So whenever I'm, say, trying to crawl, going back and forth. Cuz, oh, salute to you, queen. Appreciate you for joining me. Appreciate you for joining me. If you want to step in, just let me know. You can always jump in with me. I'm telling everybody about a few things that are going on. That's why the videos have been kind of shoddy. There's been no podcast for a couple of days. I had to go and recruit my mama to send, send me a few, a few handicapped and, dis and disability type things to keep me going. Stuff for the shower. Stuff for the toilet, yo, cuz up. You don't understand, man. It um, it fucks you up whenever you know you stinking and just can't go wash up, and it'll really mess you up when you stuck on the toilet. Like there's nobody here. Everybody's going to work, going to school, and I'm literally stuck on the toilet. I I can't get up, can't get off. I end up falling off, bang my head and shit like that. I got man, it is terrible. So had to go and break down and get a few things to keep. Just some things, some common sense type shit I should have been done. But I'm trying so hard to get this business going, to flip things, to keep everything kosher that I haven't been taking care of a few things. And that is the reason why I'm, I'm very sure it's the reason, that's part of the reason why I've been, been down and out for a little while. But I'm trying to tell you, the pillow, the modifications of coming in, I got the, my wife makes this magnesium type oil that we're rubbing on my legs every night. Especially now that I can wash myself up and shit. That's that, that's a that's a whole big difference with somebody help want somebody even want to help them wash you up with that. Shout out to that. I am on this new diet. Cause of, I know you big into different diets and watching the food and everything like that. Cause I'm starting this thing where today is day one. Seven days. You wake up and you gotta have 24 ounces of lemon water. 30 minutes later, you gotta have a 12, 16 ounces of celery juice, pure celery juice, chop it up celery juice. For the rest of the day, all you can have are bananas or buttered lettuce. That's it. No salt, no pepper. You can't add a, you can't add a dressing. That's it. So it's three o'clock today, and so far, so far I've made it. I've eaten um so I've already had, I've already had five damn meat bananas. My wife always trying to crack jokes and everything, because when I eat the bananas, look here, man, I know where I'm from. I know where I'm from, because when I eat these bananas, even my daughter's asking, Daddy, why don't you just bite the banana? I don't even want to make the motion over camera talking to you. I'm not about to take this banana and say, no, I break that one off and, you know, do it and eat it like a chip. Call it what you want to call it, cuz, though, but your boy is just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real and funky and fresh with you. Either way, today is Monday. All of these things got me feeling better. We'll see how this diet holds up. It's not even something, it's just a, it's a cleanse. It's called the, it is called the, because I wrote about it in the thing, it is called the mono cleanse. Well, for seven days, all you do is drink the two waters, and I can drink water all day, but all I can eat are bananas and buttered lettuce. Can't add salt, pepper, a damn thing. Seven days. I'm doing that because I'm trying to find out, trying to find out what has been wrong with my stomach for the past couple of months, man. So, either way, like I'm saying, all that stuff finally came to fruition this week. Knocking up the game for a few days. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my first podcast up in about a week today. I've already got a couple of interviews done, so I'm feeling better. I just there are changes coming to everything. A lot of changes coming to things. I actually have audiences and stuff now. I got to cater to. 
teachers rocking with teachers rocking with shit. I got services I've tried to come out with. I got the service for teachers. I mean, I got things going. I all got things going. But enough about me. Let me tell you about who we got set up for Black History Month today. So yesterday I ran my mouth and I forgot who I talked about yesterday. But today I'm today I'm talking about Joycelyn Elders. And Joycelyn Elders, I'm because of you remember Joycelyn Elders. She's from Arkansas. In 93, she was the America, she was the first black person to be the Surgeon General of America. She came from Arkansas. I remember being in Earl, being so crunk over at my Uncle Charles house celebrating this stuff because. This black lady from Earl, not from Earl, she's she just from Arkansas, some, I don't know, it starts with an S, some, some, some shit smaller than Earl, but she's from Earl, she becomes Surgeon General, she told Clinton no twice, twice Clinton is calling her up and telling her, look, no, Joyce Lynn, we need you to be Surgeon General of, of the country, Joyce and the country needs you, and Joyce said, no, nah, no, nope, I'm going to stay right here in Arkansas, baby, no, I'm going to stay, I don't like how this shit goes. And what happened was she ends up taking it. And when she takes it, she is Surgeon General for less than a year. And if you remember, she was the queen that was Surgeon General. And she came out and she immediately dive bombed Clinton in the administration because she came out and said, oh, jump. Look, we need to have sex education in schools. Condoms should be passed out in schools. Starting up in middle school. Give them to middle school and they damn sure should have them in high school. But we need to bring sex education and condoms in school, and she was big on that. I remember that because I'm like a sophomore in Earl. That was that year we was just down there getting it crunk. Um, the big cousin had just gotten his car. We swinging and banging all through that meeting up with people going all over from West Memphis to yeah, we had a good ass time that whole damn me summer. And um, so back back to George Lando. So the queen is rocking the country as certain general. She first fucks with the administration because she says sex ed in schools. And you know these schools didn't want to hear that. You know which schools didn't want to hear that. That was number one. Hugh McLeod, she comes out and says, not only should sex education be for real in schools, should kind of be passed out of schools, but we need to legalize drugs, especially cannabis. And that pissed Clinton and them off. Because, of course, this is right off the Reagan shit. They come in at black people with all the stuff with cannabis and everything and locking us up. And she comes out and says that. Clinton and them want her to quit. And she does them. She's like, no, no. You two will be Surgeon General. These are my views on things. This is it. It gets worse because right after they ask her to quit and demand her to quit, she's not stepping down. Suddenly, her son got popped with like a couple of pounds of cocaine. And I mean, dude had never gotten in trouble before anything. And she came out immediately and said, this is a setup. This is a setup. They're doing this to me on purpose. This whole story was, was all part of my history, man. I remember all this because she was only Surgeon General for less than a year. And I remember we were over at my Uncle Charles' house and she had gotten in trouble. And my Uncle Chase looking at me and saying, Boy, didn't you want to be the first black president to be Surgeon General? Somebody else beat you to it. Well, now's your chance. I remember all them jokes and everything, so that's my black history story for the day. Joyce the Elders, the first black person to be Surgeon General of this country. She's my favorite Surgeon General. She's the only one. Legalized cannabis, sex education in schools, pass out condoms in schools. Man, come on, dog. Give that to them. And, and she even said what really ticked everybody off is um, she came out in 93, she got put in 93, she came out in 94, early 94, and told Clinton, it was a big thing, it was a big thing on TV, it was like publicized, and said, she thinks we need to teach boys to masturbate, that way they stop pounding girls so much and learn to calm themselves down and shit like that. That, that just blew the top off. They damn sure had to get rid of her ass for doing it. Drugs legalized? Sex ed in schools? 
boys gotta start masturbating? Like, come on, yeah, man, they have to get rid of that. So, either way, that's a wild out. Black history story. Boom, there you go. My gratitude is cuz I'm gonna take these gratitude. I don't know if you got somewhere to go. Let me shoot you to you real quick. Number one, your boy took this whole morning shift off. Instead, I got right back in the bed and have spent the entire day watching Netflix and everything. Been watching, um, don't laugh. Been watching a new episode of um, Love is Blind. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Your boy is a grown ass king, dog, and I like shit like that. That love is blind shit on Netflix where the people don't, they don't see each other, got to just talk on the phone and you got to ask them to propose. I wouldn't know why I like this shit. Yeah, I, I liked it. So we watched the whole first day of me season. Knocked it off and I have rested more grateful because the spasms are starting to chill out. They're getting better and that even let me get a nap in. I to tell you, man, your boy has not slept longer than like two, maybe two and a half hours at any point since Tuesday because these spasms. I mean, I'm actually out the bed. Getting better, though. Last two days, getting better. I feel, never mind. Gratitude number two. Kid number four. Wisdom comes home today. My wife is going to go pick up Wisdom right now. I have been missing my daughter. That's my homie. That's my bestie. Love for antics, the whole house has been quiet. Plus, school starts up tomorrow and I got this, and I got this tutorial shit I want to try with her. She got to get her tutorial together. Boom. And the last thing. So I have started my mono cleanse for this stomach relief I told you about. Seven days, start with lime water, 30 minutes, then celery juice. After that, nothing but bananas, buttered lettuce, and water. I'm grateful that my wife put in the research to find this real time, new, natural remedy for all the stuff I go through. Because I'm always hearing about how bad shit gets whenever you are sick, like spouses don't want to help out, how people get divorced. All I ever hear about the sad stuff, man. You hear about how your kids don't care about you. You hear about how nobody comes to visit you. I'm in this damn me. I remember my aunt had this and Everybody used to come see her. I don't know how often, but I'm here, man, and ain't nobody coming to see my ass. Like, ain't nobody coming to see me. I can't technology, though, and that's why I got Zooms, and I be on Clubhouse and all types of stuff. Either way, let me get back to this gratitude. I always have, what was I saying? Just give me some remedies to try out. Oh, I'm always hearing the bad stories, and it's good to brag about something because that makes me feel good inside and out. Boom. Cheesy as hell. But yo, man, from the heart. I love that girl. Wherever she is, she's right there. Yeah. So I'm done. Queen, you be pretty like you always are. Stay grateful. I'm out. <laughs>